Diane Bradley. Barging my way into the order early. No, no. Very appropriate. Because <laughs> you should not think of me as Diane Bradley from CUNY Graduate Center. Think of me as older and more Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I received a message from Zenon yesterday, which he you asked me to read. You need the microphone. Sorry. I received a message from Zenon yesterday, um, which he asked me to read to you on his behalf. It says, Dear friends, Jerry Fuller, I can't tell you how much it pains me not to be with you to celebrate Jerry's life. My doctors tell me I must remain in physical rehabilitation until it is safe for me to try to walk again. This should take another week or so. For over half a century, Jerry has been my closest friend, confidant, and only collaborator. We have argued with such enthusiasm that our spouses had to flee the arena. <laughs> he goes on to say, Jerry's sense of humor was legendary, an example is of his sending me a note during a talk proclaiming that his shirt was nicer than mine. <laughs> Another example, and I think this falls under mad dog nativism, uh, Ray, um, was an inventive instance of the concept of a complex concept as follows, <clears throat> pink, wet, and throbbing. <laughs> it nearly caused Janet to fall off her chair. <laughs> <laughs> In preparing to render this remark, I, I invited myself to think of, I invited myself to think of sea anemones. <laughs> <laughs> Zenon's message closes by saying, I miss Jerry's unique sense of humor as much as his deep insights into philosophical questions. In fact, I miss his presence more than I can tell you. He will remain in my consciousness as long as I have a loving thought to think. Signed, 